right, how's it going, everybody? Uh, today is a uh, we're, we're live action shooting here on the fly. Consumer truck is out and about buying stuff, and I just ran into the perfect example of customer experience and how important it is to focus on that, no matter how big your company is. If you're a big international company, you need to focus on customer experience just as much as a one-man show contractor does. Um, and maybe even more so for management because if you're managing this kind of company at this kind of scale, uh, let's just take Best Buy for example. You know, you have stores all over the place. You deal with probably zero customers face to face. So you really have to pay close attention to the details of customer experience and make sure that that stuff trickles down to the bottom. And the reason I chose Best Buy as an example is because they just lost me as a customer today and possibly forever, you know, unless I absolutely have to use them, I won't. And that's coming from somebody that has been shopping at Best Buy his whole adult life. Best Buy has been one of my favorite stores. It's like uh, Toys R Us for electronic nerd adults. So what happened today? All right, so I, I went to Best Buy to buy an iPad mini. I've been wanting to buy one of these for like a year. I've been planning on buying it from Best Buy the whole time. That's just my default. And today was the day I went to the store to buy it and I went to walk in and the doors didn't open. And I'm like, what the heck? I look over and I see, oh, okay, they open at 11. What time is it? Oh, it's, uh, it's eight minutes to 11. Okay, no problem. Went back, sat in my car for a couple minutes and then I saw some guy, um, you know, just in street clothes, walk up, the door opened, he walked in. I'm like, okay, cool, They're, they opened a little, a few minutes early, that's nice. So me and a group of other people all came from our cars and walked up, but the door wouldn't open. And I peer inside the window, and there's just a bunch of Best Buy employees standing there looking at me. And I turn around, and I'm like, huh, you know, that's weird, it must have been an employee walking in. Uh, and there's a guy standing there with his toddler freezing. It's 20 degrees outside snowing and He's like, oh, what the heck like I thought they were open blah 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 And so there we were there's a bunch of people standing outside their doors freezing our butts off and I don't know what the other people were doing there, but I was there to buy I had $500 I was ready to spend like that uh, but they instead of letting us in they just stood there and looked at us and look, I get it, it maybe it's company policy, we're not supposed to ever let anybody come in early, whatever the case may be, whatever the reasoning is, they should have let us in. Because while I was standing there, I was online looking at what other stores around had the iPad mini in it. I, I found out that Target, right across the street, had one left. So at one minute to open, at 10.59 in the morning, I got back in my car, drove across the street, and bought the iPad, and Best Buy lost out on that sale. And they also lost some of my respect because I think that's really messed up to make a bunch of people sit out, wait out in the cold when you got a bunch of staff just standing there looking at them from the other side of the doors. Like, just open the doors. And if you can't, for some reason, maybe there's some kind of corporate security system that won't let, I mean, that that's, that's not the case anyways because I said there was people there was employees going in and out of the door the whole time so they should have let us in they didn't they lost me as a customer today maybe in the future and as an overall trend I would guess that Best Buy is probably on its way out just based on this one experience so if you're a business owner if you're a manager pay attention to the experience your customers are having when dealing with you you know, I get that if you might be a big ass corporation and you don't really care about Indian, any individual sale, but these, these sales add up, these customers add up, and everybody's important, especially when you're a business. So take a, a lesson from that, if you will, and uh, yeah, don't go to Best Buy before 11 because they will not let you in. I'll see you on the next one.